everybody welcome back to the channel hope everyone had a nice weekend today it was announced that uber is working on adding a handyman service in a possible expansion so this is pretty interesting at a time where uber has actually been trading relatively strong the code name for this new service is chore it was found inside their iphone app within hidden code strings it's going to allow a tasker to be hired for a minimum of one hour the new potential Uber service will likely directly compete with Angie and TaskRabbit, as well as Craigslist and Front Door. Uber declined to comment, so there's no guarantee. Um, this makes sense. Uber, they expand. A lot of people think Uber is just for driving, but of course, they introduced Uber Eats. They have Uber Freight for that freight. And so they are always interested in expansion and growing where they can find um, you know, more growth and into expanding into other markets, right? So they can have different segments. If guys, if you missed the last video about Spotify, check that one out. I'll put a link in the description going absolutely crazy. Let's get to the Uber. Again, this is a company that is, um, is starting to become somewhat profitable. You can see um, in some quarters here, the sales are decelerating. So it does make sense that they're trying to expand into other market segments, all right? And it's actually a good sign that they, sales are decelerating, but over time they're they're finding, um, you know, ways to to get into profitability on those <clears throat> declining sales. You can see the gross margins pretty consistent in the low 30s, all right? So Uber, pretty big uptrend here ever since the summer of last year. It's more than doubled. You can see it's forming these nice bases right like this and it is breaking out a base right here a base right here breaks out i liked it back here when we were trading above the 200 moving average right here and we pulled right back into it then we got that green signal candle off the green shade oversold conditions a ton of volume came into the market and then it's been trading more kind of flat bases very tight price action kind of uh, bull flags high tight flags and it's been riding that 21 moving average and so ever since this kind of big uptrend started, this big up move, right? Because this was the bear market. And so this was, you know, still trading below the 200, rejecting it. This was the first time we kind of really came above it. We tagged green on the Jupiter Pendulum on all the time frames, have our green dots, and then we held it to the bot, to the downside. And so this is where the trend reversed into kind of a bullish trend. And so if you take that into consideration, this is our first test of the 50, right? The 50 daily moving average. We came down, we tested it, we built some divergence along it. You can see the Jupiter Pension, double green shades, earnings still coming in nice. That's a thousand percent beat on estimates. Okay, we consolidated here, we got the green signal candle again. This held, and we did kind of break out here, right? From this pivot high. So what is Uber? You know, right now we broke out, we pulled back, we held the 21. So kind of a gap down and 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 trade up. The bulls held the 21. That's nice to see. Pendulum went back into the green, green volume coming in. Today we gapped up and we're trying to close a bullish day. Okay, so our pivot highs are gonna be up here. This thing um it has room to grow, it's not at all time highs, kind of like a you know IPO base. That broke out, hit 64, and then it, it, it really, and then the bear market started, right, for growth stocks. And so it was in this descending channel the entire time. And so if you imagine this IPO base that got filled out to all time highs, you can imagine the same thing happening again for this kind of larger base. And right now we're riding the right side of that base. So there's going to be many opportunities to get involved, right? Just to get to all time highs, you're talking about 34%. And of course, if we break that, then you have a lot more potential upside. So there's no need to rush into this position. Um, we, we can wait for good entries, right? I think right now it's a bit extended and you can see this thing probably rides that eight EMA there. Let's turn on EMA one right here and you can see how tight this thing trades and it does really surf it really well. So you could look for that, but at this point in time, we're even extended from the eight. So I wouldn't enter today. It's at least not my trading style, but I do think it's it's bullish here. What I'd be looking for is another fresh tag on the lower time frame, right? So the 65 minute bias bar or Jupu bar down here, the last tag, this green tag was on July 20th and we had the green dots as well. And so that told us that we wanted to buy pullbacks. Now that we're gaining momentum, we wanna see a fresh tag down there and then what i'd like to see is some tightening price action 
some kind of pivot high or, or, or flag to be formed into the 21 and look for a nice potential <clears throat> entry. All right, guys, so let me know what you think about Uber's new business. I think this is strong. Another thing to note is, you know, how thick the 200 was. This shows us relative strength. It's thick right now. So it's trading relatively strong the past few weeks, the past couple of months compared to the rest of the market as it, whoa, as it really forms this, um, this, this base here, right? So this is nice. I think there's time. You can take the breakout over 50. That's going to probably be a decent opportunity. But between here and there, you'd really not want to chase and, and maybe let price tighten up and give you some other kind of entry, maybe another test of the 21 or whatever it might be. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know how you plan to trade Uber and if you're bullish on their new service. See you on the next one.